Well, we're ready. Good evening. I'm so glad you could join us for tonight's cultural affairs and tourism meeting. Uh, whether you are, and uh, I was going to say online, I didn't start my Zoom session. I knew there was something I didn't do, but I will do that just in case there's somebody coming in. <clears throat> This is what happens when you try to do too many things at one time. Not only do you forget to turn the Zoom on, uh, you know, we forget what day that we usually meet, uh, but that, that's actually worked out much better for us this month, uh, at least for me, because my schedule has gotten really, really crazy. And uh, I think next week, I am doing one interview and two lectures. So uh, it's going to be really uh, a stretched out week, plus work trips and that. I should have the zoom on just momentarily here, I think. And I haven't received any emails that people are joining it yet, but we'll get it on for them just in case they come in. It says that it's only me right now, but that's okay. Fine. Um, <clears throat> if they don't get to see it live, if they don't get to be here in person, thanks to BCA, who now has heat, we'll be back in business and this will be broadcast um, through the month. So again, thank you for coming tonight. And uh, next month, we will be back to our regular schedule, the second Thursday of the month. And uh, let's see. Now, uh, this past Saturday, we had a wonderful Irish, live Irish concert here, and uh, we do it every year. And so we were thrilled to have uh, the band Merrill here. And uh, we'll talk about adv advance notice. We've already pre-booked them for the first Saturday of next year. So... Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, also coming up uh, this month, there's quite a few things going on, and Anne will come and deal with those in a moment. Um, but on the 23rd at 2 p.m., we'll have a book reading over at the Brockton Public Library in the Lingos Auditorium. So that'll be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And looking forward to those that can make that, whether they be children or adults. Uh, we also have a history lesson video that's animated and uh, look forward to, uh, that's been a great time over there for that. So uh, let's see what other ones we have here. Uh, let's see, we have someone on the phone, on the line now, that's good. And uh, let's see, well, Ann, I think we come to your Okay. Notes. All right. All Here. Right. All right. I'll come to that now. I'll think but of something else later. Sure. No, that's fine. We'll do it like that. <laughs> Again, my apologies. And uh, we got Claire Lineberry signing in here. Okay. Uh, my apologies for making the mistake of the date. Yes, for some reason, I put down March 7th, and it should have been, my, you know, seven days from now, March 14th. But in the meanwhile, whole lot going on here. And again, next month's meeting will be Thursday, April 11th, Zoom and um, in person. Okay, so um, let's talk about announcements here. Uh, Broughton Community Access is open and alive, and people can do their podcasts, their shows, public service announcements, the whole gamut. Okay, meanwhile, um, what would I want to say here? There's um, two Lenten luncheons left. Um, in the season. Easter is coming faster than we want to believe. And of course, it's St. Patrick's Day, a week from Sunday, March 17th. A variety of different restaurants are serving up, oh, that delicacy, <laughs> uh, gourmet beef and cabbage. But in all seriousness, game, it's a, it's a fun time. It's a kickoff to spring. So here we go. We have two Lenten luncheons, one on March, Friday, March 15th, and that's with... Um, local author and business uh, man, Dr. James Bruce, and that's at the, um, I'm sorry, First Lutheran Church in Broughton, 900 uh, Main Street, and uh, doors open at 1130, lunch is served at 12 noon, donations are always accepted, 
and it's kind of funny, on that day they will be having the corned beef and cabbage, <laughs> and uh, it's, you know, public is welcome, we've had incredible speakers, and we're really pleased, so then we have that one, and the following week, you know, seven days later, uh, on the 22nd of March, we have um, Pastor Jeffrey, and uh, he'll play his Broadway tunes, and that day is Swedish Meatballs. Again, the doors open at 1130. This is at First Lutheran Church in Broughton, 90 Main Street. 900. 900. 900. Where did I get 90? 900 <laughs> Main Street. Okay, just forgot a digit there. No problem. 900 Main Street. Seriously. And people have a great time. Public is, is welcome. The food's incredible. It's all homemade. And as I tell most people, come in off of Montello if you're driving with your car. And because there's a front and back parking lot, there's much more parking on the Montello side. And it's easier to get in to the rear of the church. And, and it's you go to the vestry. And you go right down, and you know, in the, I think it's funny, and I don't want to say basement, but it is the bottom of the church. And you know you're in the right place because it smells terrific, and I kid you not. And um, this has been going on for 40 years. Isn't that wild? Yeah, so anyway, so that's a really positive thing. So, okay, I want to make sure I said that. that and, of course, you know, as we get into the Easter, uh, you know, observance, uh, you'll be seeing a whole lot more um, up, you know, and coming. And uh, we're very lucky because the Enterprise and Buzz Around are very good to us with highlighting. Okay, uh, recorded books, art, music, and more. And I always invite people to be on the show. Uh, I want, um, I never had a sculpture, sculptor. I never had a dancer. And um, I've had musicians, and I hope to have more of them. So please, we want to highlight all the positives in Brockton. By the time you see this, the symphony will have done their Winter Tales performance. But Tales, as T A L E S, and it's at, um, I'm sorry, um, Christ Congregational Church. And let me tell you, the performances are phenomenal. They have a new, what do we call him, a conductor, a music conductor. And he is very young, very, very talented, and it's just, it's just amazing to have the you know, pleasure of seeing all this. Okay, again, you can always forward us your information. Uh, at R, uh, D R R D R consult to D R uh, R D R consult, consult at, at, at gmail.com and they get posted on the Happening in Broughton site and you can give me a call at 774-297-4939 or you can email me at A is in Ann, M is in Mary at Oh, but I know. A is an Ann, M is in Mary Beauregard, B E A U R E G A R D, at Outlook.com. And we're just happy to promote all this. We're very lucky, too, because um, City's website has been more active and promoting things. This is International Women's Month. There's all sorts of activities, whether through the public library system, uh, various recognition of women in the community. It's, it's just a really great time here. Okay, what else do I. Don't want to make sure I haven't talked about St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Okay, as usual, I'm very biased. I'm going to talk about the Broughton Garden Club that's going to be 95 years old. Okay. And on Monday, March 25th, at Our Lady of Lords, that's where we meet. Um, the doors open at 6.30 p.m. There's plenty of parking. Okay. This is on West Street, but again, not to try to make things confusing. The parking lot itself is on Tory Street. Okay. And this is great. The Miles Audubon Society... Sean Kent, a remarkable instructor, is going to be speaking on birds in the backyard and um, migration and pollinating. It, I mean, you are never disappointed with this gentleman, and it's just remarkable. I'm really lucky to have him, Sean Kent. And again, this is open to the public, so doors open at 6.30. Our meeting starts at 7, about quarter past 7, he'll begin speaking, and it's just a marvelous time. Again, all this is open and free to the public. Uh, Downtown Broughton Association is going to town with all sorts of uh, activities, new business opening up, um, 222 Main Street, got to make sure I say that right, and it's kind of a spa, oh that works for me, beauty spa and, and what have you. Okay, and the other thing is, is remember, this is a time of year where the kids sign up for spring soccer, <coughs> excuse me, um, baseball or t-ball, 
and uh, Little League, that's the term I'm looking for, okay? Um, and that, oh, and Dave Gorman's Kid Rose races will begin in April, on Saturday, April 27th, for the 47th year. So that's pretty amazing. Again, that's still a dollar to come, okay? Is that amazing or what? So anyway, so I wanted to make sure that I let, you know, people know about all this. I want to also highlight this remarkable woman, Pat Monteith, and all the great stuff she does. I'm biased because she does space stuff, and she has her planetarium, and she just goes all over the universe with her planetarium. And, uh, but anyway, she is doing two programs, and uh, one of them is on March 27th, and the other one is on April 6th, if I have it correctly. Um, this also can be seen on Buzz Around, uh, you know, uh, www.buzzaround.org, or Broughton Buzz Around, because there's two of them. Because Broughton has so many things going on, and we have to have our own, because we're special. Oh, and the Fuller Craft Museum is hosting a button event. This is on uh, Saturday, March 30th. Again, that's free to the public in relation. I mean, it's obviously a button exhibit, and it was just pretty neat, though. And they still have their red dress event, and which I thought I wasn't sure what to, what to expect, but wow, what a phenomenal, um, how would I say, use of fabric, and um, you know, very challenging. And I want to make sure that I mention all that. So, Fuller Craft Museum is free to Brockton residents, so don't forget, you know, to enjoy that. And they're open Tuesday through Sunday. So take advantage of all that, please, people, right on Oak Street. And um, what else do I want to mention that um, is, is going to be going on? Um, again, there's always activities with the Council on Aging that you can check. Go to the city's website, or you can visit, what is it, um, cobma.us. City of Broughton, ma.us. So cobma.us. There's endless waves of information that you can find out about and opportunities for great things going on in the city. And um, I like, you know, so check that out. Uh, anything that Pat Monteith does, and this eclipse is not supposed to happen for a while, that she, this is what she's going to be presenting. One in the evening and one during the day, if I have it correctly. And this is what blows your mind. It's not going to happen for like another 235 years or something. So really, you kind of want to catch this one. <laughs> um, but anyway, again, there's so much. And, you know, if you miss something because I talk too fast or whatever, please, you know, don't hesitate to give me a call at 774-297-4939. And, um, yes, as you can see, spring is spilling up with a whole lot of stuff. Wait till you find out what's going on in April. We also want to remind people that have students, kids, that um, are planning on going to higher education, scholarship um, are plenty of scholarships are available. There's also the John Thomas Scholarship, and this is near and dear to us because this gentleman actually broke records at the Olympics back in um, 60 and 64, lived in Broughton. He's no longer with us, unfortunately, and there's a scholarship in his name, and again, that is, um, you know, mobilized by volunteers. There's all, uh, John Thomas, you can, um, it's available, you know, through Broughton High, um, what do I want to call it, the, um, I don't want to call it a manual or whatever that has the list of all these, you cannot begin to imagine how many scholarships out there. Now, they're all not for, you know, huge sums of money, but the fact is they're out there and available, and uh, most of them have a deadline of Patriot's Day weekend, which um, is around the 12th of April, so yeah, you, oh yes, that Friday, 12th of April, you get out of school and you don't go back for a week because Patriot's Day is on Monday, April 15th. So again, these are endless opportunities that exist for individuals to take advantage of. And um, again, I'm not doing uh, justice. Again, the Metro South Chamber of Commerce also offers phenomenal presentations, workshops, programs, and events. And you can visit them at www wmetrosouthchamber.com and yes, anyone's welcome to all of these events. So again, I'm going to pass it on to Pastor Reed and the next time you see us is Thursday, April 11th. Okay, thanks for joining us. Okay?
All right, thanks, Ann. It's always easy for me to remember the address for the Lenten luncheons because First Lutheran is at 900 Main Street, and our address is 899 North Main Street. So we're opposite ends of the city, but it's uh, easy to find each one. Um, also, happeninginbrockton.com, you can find everything advertised that we talk about. And uh, if, if somebody sends me in or sends Ann the information, it gets on there almost right away. doesn't matter if it's a graphic or a PDF or if it's just text. We'll get it on there so that people know about your event. Uh, also on that page is some of the local businesses that we like to people to support mm -hmm. and so you can have the link to their uh, websites and also to their um, let's see well addresses as to where to find them and if you know if it's a restaurant we might give it five stars for some of them uh, but we do have some new restaurants coming up in Brockton yes. right, and over the last few weeks so uh, support local whenever you can it is the thing to do and uh, helps make our city a better place so uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, next month at our meeting on the second Thursday of the month. April 11th. April yeah. 11th. And that deadline, something hit me when you talked about the deadline for these uh, yeah. uh, scholarships yeah. and that. Yeah. It's, just so you didn't realize, it's the weekend before tax payments are due. <laughs> So, uh, in Massachusetts, we get an extra day because of Patriots Day, but uh, anyway, that's coming up. So, uh, the, yep. yes, it comes fast, and so, so do all these applications for scholarships and that. So, we look forward to being able to give you more news uh, for what's coming in April, and uh, maybe even beyond. Yes. But uh, I encourage you also as Ann did, to um, see the planetarium presentation, the presentations that oh, Pat yes. has. Uh, they are great. The advertisement for them is on happeninginbrockton.com. So thank yeah. you, and have a good evening, and stay dry. <laughs> for sure, yes.